Hey, my babies, my soul tribe, my darlings. It's your girl, Kyra's Crystal Visions. <laughs> welcome, babies. Welcome, welcome. Newbies in between them. My... Oh, geez. Okay. I am so grateful for each and every one of you guys. I'm always sending each and every one of you guys so much love healing, good vibes, okay? And I am so grateful for all of your love, support, all of your donations too that you give me. Oh my God. And I am deeply appreciative of all of the energy exchange, darlings, okay? I do want to remind you guys that my readings are timeless. So whenever you peer into my readings, it will resonate accordingly. And just remember, to only take what resonates out of the message, darlings, okay? I am just blessed and I am deeply appreciative and I want you guys to know that of each and every one of you guys. And I'm not always able to comment back because I am so busy and I am also raising two beautiful boys, but know that Every time you comment, every time you like, every time you share, every time you show me love, even if the video does not resonate at that point in time, and you still show love, know that I am giving it back a thousand fold, babies. And for each and every one of my readings, you will be protected, me as well, by Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael from any evil eye magic or any negative energy or entities that want to beguile or to hinder us in any way. We send it back a thousand fold. Amen, darlings. So let's get to the reading. Hey, my loves. Hey, my darlings. Hey, my soul tribe. Okay, welcome, welcome again. And a reminder that my readings are timeless. So whenever you peer into these readings, it will resonate accordingly, darlings. Okay, I'm praying that you're having a really good day. And if not, I pray that it gets better and I send you much love and healing, okay? Um, reminder as well to only take out of this reading what resonates and leave the rest, okay? And another reminder is that when these readings come out positive, claim it, okay? Use that energy to manifest the outcomes you want in your reality because you have control to do so, okay? So let's get into the reading and see what's going on, babies. All right. So someone wants you to keep the door open for them because they want to express their love. OK, on the split, it says, don't be focused on a closed door that you don't see the ones which are opened for you. OK, then it says, express your love. It is important to let people know that you love them. You have nothing to lose. So someone that is keeping the door open for you wants to express their love and they feel like you're a good investment okay so let's see what else what's that what else is going on what else is going on all right so we have here oh third party situation other people may be interfering with this relationship and dimming its full potential so someone could be in a third party situation and they're praying that you keep the door open for them because they feel like you are not worth losing. Ooh, child. And they want to make the effort towards you. But it's a third-party situation. Ooh, Lord, the mess. The mess. See what else is going on? Mm-hmm. Love your shadow. Accept and work with the flaws in yourself so you can learn to accept others as they are. I feel like this person was dealing with a third party situation, whether they were with you or that's the reason why you guys broke up. Okay. And it's because they didn't want to accept themselves. Let's be real. Okay. They have to integrate. I'm hearing their shadow and light and they didn't want to do that. 
So they thought they could go towards a third party and pretty much do what they wanted. But they're realizing that they don't want this third party. And they're praying that you don't close the door on them because you're worth the investment. You are not worth losing. But this person didn't want to shape up is what spirit is saying. And no one, especially you, okay, is going to deal with third party situations. You're above that. I'm hearing you're above that shit. Okay. Mm. So if this person is dealing with a third party, why? What is going on? What's going on? Oh my God. It's your twin flame, babies. <laughs> It's your twin flame. That's why they feel as though you are not worth losing. That's why they want you to keep the door open. That's why they're realizing that they need to make big changes in their life if they want you. I mean, some of you guys are over this twin flame journey. Others of you guys, you want this person. If you want this person, they're letting go of the third party is what I heard. If you don't give a damn, just keep moving forward towards a soulmate is what I heard. This person is your mirror soul. This is why this connection feels so sacred to you. Okay, so this person has come to the revelation or the awakening that you are their twin flame after how long is what I heard after how long. I don't know if that's how y'all feel like it took they took too long is what I heard. And for others of you guys, you know, you're still willing. So put yourself where you belong. But Spirit is saying, put yourself first. I feel like you've done this or you're doing this. All right. Loving yourself makes you more romantically attractive. Now, I'm hearing three different scenarios. The first scenario, this person is leaving the third party because they're realizing the third party doesn't compare to you. And the third party is toxic, okay? And they have come to the awareness that you are their twin flame. They don't want to lose you, you know, so on and so forth. The second message is that you could be currently dealing with a twin flame and it's still a third party lingering, okay? I don't know if your person is entertaining this third party on the down low, or it's just a third party lingering in your person's energy and they need to cleanse themselves of this energy, okay? Because this person, if they've already let this third party go, but it, this third party energy is lingering in their energy, they already have done shadow work and that's why you guys are still together, okay? So if you're still with your twin flame, they're not dealing with this third party, but the energy is still lingering. So it probably triggers you to think that this twin flame of yours is dealing with the third party, but they're not, okay? The last message is that you are in a twin flame connection and there is actually a third party. And this third party is infringing on this connection, but your person doesn't want you to leave them because they've come to this awareness that this third party is nothing like you and you're worth, you know, everything. And they're realizing that this third party is worth nothing. And they're accepting that they really need to work on themselves because a lot of you guys I'm hearing you're leaving, you're out the door, you don't want to deal with this shit no more, especially if you find this out and you are dealing with this twin flame and they still are entertaining, talking, conversating, flirting for some even fucking a third party on the side. Now only take which message resonates, babies, please. So let me reiterate, you could be dealing in a connection, married living with your twin flame and they're still dealing with the third party lover is what I heard, okay? And they have come to the awareness that pretty much either they're losing you because they chose not to let go of this third party because they're stubborn, arrogant, and selfish and they chose not to heal and work on themselves. So like I said, you 
if you found out already, you're on your way out the door is what I heard. When you find out, you're going to be shocked and you're just going to remove yourself. It's going to be hard, but you will is what spirit is saying. Okay. The second one is this third party energy is just lingering. Okay. There is no more third party. Your person got rid of that person. They've been doing their shadow work, but the third party is obsessed with your person. Okay. They just need to cleanse more and keep focused on their shadow work and everything going to be good. Okay. The other message was that your person was dealing with the third party. You guys could be in separation and they're letting this third party go. They have, or they continue to heal and work on themselves because they feel as though, you know, you are worth the investment is what I keep hearing. You're worth the weight. You're worth the sacrifice. You're worth it all. Okay. And this person is praying. Okay. If you're in separation, this last message, that you keep the door open and that they can come back and truly express that they are in love with you. Let's get one more. Past lives. You've known this person before. It is a soulmate from a past life. Okay, so yeah. Of course, you and your twin flame has had many lives together, but whoever this third party is, it's a soulmate from a past life, a karmic soulmate, okay? Only there to teach them a lesson. So it doesn't matter which situation you resonate with, your person was or is learning a lesson, okay? For those that resonate with your person leaving the third party, okay? And focusing on themselves. And for some, the third party energy is just lingering because this third party is super obsessed. I'm hearing not just with your person, but with you too. Okay. Being like you. Um, this is someone from a past life that your person had to learn the lesson in this lifetime. Okay. Those that have left this third party behind, they've learned the lesson, baby. Okay. And spirit is saying to keep the door open and express what you want from this person if you want your twin flame, okay? If not, another reason why this past lives card came out is you can, what did I say? What do I always say? What have I been told from my ancestors? Because your twin flame was reluctant on learning lessons and picking you in many past lives, your ancestors gave you a backup plan, baby, a backup plan. And that's a past life, higher level soulmate. So if you don't want this twin flame, you can go towards your higher level past life soulmate, okay? But I'm also hearing this past life soulmate was a karmic of your persons that, like I said, for those that have left this karmic, they've learned the lesson. For those that you are still in a relationship, dealing with, conversating with, for some, you even reconcile with your twin flame and they still are dealing with third parties, okay? Because they are refusing to learn the lesson. So you will be blessed with a higher level soulmate that is gonna give you everything you want, okay? Put yourself where you belong, babies, okay? Put yourself first, but put yourself where you belong. Ooh, child. Clarify third party. And I'm hearing this third party really wants your person. Like this third party is delusional. If your person is still dealing with the third party or if their energy is still lingering because they're obsessed, this third party really thinks that your person is their destined person. Uh, yeah, that part. Uh, third party. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, this third party is trying to manifest your person back. I can't make this up. Also, the third party is trying to send, I'm hearing evil eye and manipulation magic or confusion magic so that your person can come back or stay. Okay. Depending on your situation, come back or stay. That's why their energy is lingering heavily. It's because they are doing so much magic, so much, you know, I'm hearing conjuring of your person, okay? 
but it's not going to work. We have defeat the five of swords. It's not going to work. Okay. Because even if you are with your person and you find out that they're still dealing with third parties and you leave them and you're like, oh, fuck you. I'm going to a soulmate. Okay. This person will eventually learn their lesson. Now, will you be there when they learn it? That's not a guarantee. Okay. I'm just being real, but this third party is manifesting the hell out of your person and they don't plan on stopping. Okay. They want to defeat this connection. Godly. Like what the f Jesus. Like, yeah. Stalking with the hermit. Like I'm hearing this person makes it their life to watch stalk and see what your person is doing. If they are with you, have they reconnected with you? Are they still with you? Woo, because they want to cause mad conflict. The five of wands, they want y'all to be in conflict. They want y'all to struggle. Actually, I heard this third party wants you to know that they are still trying to be with your person or deal with your person or they're still dealing with your person because they want to steal them from you. I'm hearing what a low life. What a fucking low life. So what's going to happen with this third party and the collective's person? What's going to happen? So you're going to get justice. Like I said, lessons will be learned. Okay. When it comes to leaving this third party out, learning the lesson and dismissing this third party if they are still dealing with this third party. Now, will you still be there? Will you take them back? It's not a, a high chance is what I heard. Especially if you find out th that this person is still dealing with the third party. It is so hard for me to talk in this read. Somebody does not want me to relay this message, okay? But I'm going to relay it. For some of your persons, they are still manipulating you. And yes, this is your twin flame and you have an unbreakable bond and you are in love and whoop de wop but they are not respecting you because they're still dealing, talking, flirting, thinking that they can manipulate and get over on you with a third party, okay? This is a twin flame that has not ascended or have elevated to their divinity because they love staying in their shadow side, even though their shadow side Brings them turmoil, chaos, drama, sorrow, and depression. I mean, when will this person get it? I don't know. Your person is what I'm saying, okay? This third party thinks that your person is their person. They think that your person is their justice. So they are not going to stop fighting. I'm hearing energetically, using magic, manipulation. If they're talking to your person, they are... Every chance they get trying to manipulate your person and perceiving you in a nasty way is what I'm hearing. Mm. But also this third party is going to get karma. With justice, oh yeah, they're going to get mad karma for all of the spell work, for basically trying consistently, reluctantly after God has given this dirty ass karmic many signs of synchronicities that one... You don't even know who this karmic is. You're not even sending any negativity towards this karmic. And I'm going to be real. Some of you, this message is for some of you. You don't give a fuck about this twin flame. You can have them. That's how you feel, collective, for some of you. And this karmic is still pressed because your person is still in love with you. They are still thinking about you. They still crave you because that's your twin flame. Even if they have not arose to their divinity, the connection is still there. And this low vibrational karmic knows it. Man or woman, okay? Man or woman. So what's going to happen between the karmic and your person real quick before we go to the next cards? What's going to happen? child so before i spoke i looked at the bottom of the deck okay so we have the lovers i can't really show that we have the lovers here and then we have the five of pentacles your person is going to leave this karmic 
where they are. And the karmic is going to continue to stalk both of you. Even if you're not with this person. This karmic is still going to continue to stalk both of you. So what spirit and the angels and the ancestors are going to do is incapacitate this karmic. That's what I heard. Incapacitate. So that this karmic can no longer infringe on your connection, even if you're not with this person. Because even if you're not with this person, this karmic is still sending you magic, negative energy. Now, is it hitting you? Some of you guys, it may make you sick for a day. It may make you feel a little nauseous. You may feel a little weird, but it's going just like that. And it's sent right back to the karmic, okay? Right back to the karmic. Just like that. I ain't mean to uh, flip those cards, all right? I be into these reads because I love y'all. You feel me? Like, I feel like this is just messy. Especially if your person is still dealing with this karmic. This is just messy, like... And your person has the downloads that you are top tier. You are their empress. You are their twin flame. But they think they still can be sneaky for some of your persons. In the end, you are going to win and your person is going to be left on their lonesome if they're still dealing with this third party and they are with you. They have another thing coming, Spirit is saying, because you're going to be reassigned to a higher level soulmate that will then be your twin flame and the connection and the bond that you share between your original one broken is what i heard you will not feel think or crave this person anymore i feel like your ancestors are freaking tired especially if your person is still conversating flirting giving attention talking about a karmic that don't matter that was just a lesson that's it for the others that your person has released this karmic, yeah, they're not lying, baby. So when they tell you they don't want nothing to do with a third party that they were dealing with, either when you guys were separated or this person could have started off as a friend and wiggled their way into your person's, I'm hearing feelings, by, I'm hearing taking jabs at you by, you know, trying to be you man or woman and your person got real confused because they didn't do a lot of healing on themselves and they didn't think highly of themselves so for some of your persons you know they ain't had no morals they ain't had no ethics so they would fuck and talk and flirt with anything bad bitches and ugly ones basic ones men or women okay is what i heard my ancestors are ruthless, so I have to relay the message how it's given. I said bad bitches and ugly bitches. Exactly what I said. <laughs> or basic bitches, okay? Your person ain't have no moral, no pick, no type. Oof. I ain't gonna lie, I heard that disgusted a lot of you guys. So love your shadow side. What's going on with this? Love your shadow side. They're trying to accept their flaws and heal. Yeah. Yeah. They don't want you to leave them out in the cold. They still want you to invest. But they're investing in their healing is what I'm hearing as well. Okay. For those that have already left the third party. And your twin flame you're either in separation with or you have reconnected. I feel like for those that have reconnected, this third party energy is lingering, okay? That's how you will know your situation. For those that are in separation, your person is single. They're not dealing with this third party anymore, okay? And um, for those two situations, your person is invested in their healing, okay? They are not given emotion, time, attention to these third parties, now, when it comes to if you're dealing with a twin flame and you are going to figure out that they're still dealing with the third party, fantasizing, wanting, craving, desiring, woo, this could be sexual magic that has your person hooked is also what I'm hearing. You're going to realize that this person is still invested because they're not doing the work. You feel me? It's a difference. You got the two scenarios that's doing the work. And you got that one scenario that's, your person's not doing the work, baby. I'm praying 
that most of you guys fall on the two scenarios where your person has left the third party and you either are rejoined, reconnected, and everything is going great. And you just have to keep cleansing you guys' energy and revoking this person's, this third party's energy, sending it back, okay? Or your person is in separation from you and they're really healing, putting in the work on themselves, letting go of all third parties that pretty much keep them in a toxic way of being, a toxic way of thinking, and just expressing themselves on a daily basis. They're getting rid of those third parties and they're coming back to you because they have an awareness. They have clarity, like mad clarity, okay? But for that one situation, your person's still invested into this third party. And what's happening is this third party is going to take them for everything. Because once you realize it, you're out. You don't have time for this shit, okay? You're out. And they're going to be left broke, busted, and disgusted because they chose not to invest in themselves to arise to their divinity. Claire, yep, we have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This person was real noncommittal, okay? For some of you, your person could have been real lovey, dovey, and kind, and attentive in the beginning, and then they just automatically switched up. It's because they met this third party. And ever since then, they've been... I'm hearing at a crossroads, indecisive, which one to pick, which one to pick. Like, what? Mm. Um, the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hearing these past third parties that your person has let go of for the two scenarios, right? Stay with me, stay with me. They are not investing. You understand me? You have the Four of Cups. They are not investing in these third parties, baby, okay? If they were flirting or, you know, giving them attention in the past, they're not doing that no more. They didn't learn their lesson. They didn't learn their lesson. They're like, hell no. Not today, not tomorrow, not no more. Not no more. Okay, you got two smart ones here that's coming through in this reading. And they want to be with you this lifetime. I'm hearing, I owe you this lifetime. I damn sure don't want to give all my love to this third party. Hell no. Is what I heard. Mm. Now, for that one scenario, like I said, when you find out that this person is still investing in this third party, you're going to reject this person and you're going to go about your merry way. And your angels and God is going to set you up with a unbelievable, is what I heard, high level soulmate. I'm trying to tell you, it's going to make your twin flame ultra jealous. Ultra. And I think, you know, your ancestors are a little petty. <laughs> Lopez. And they're like, oh, we're going to make them regret it, is what I heard. Ooh, yup. The Six of Wands, okay, because you are going to get recognition and rewarded for your dedication, for your loyalty, for your constant working on self, for you constantly following the guidance and just being a really unconditional soul. You didn't deserve this. You don't deserve this. Especially if your person is still invested in a third party situation that is going to end anyway. Like, and then the crazy part is when you find out about the third party, right? You're going to leave and then your delusional person is going to think that they can basically fall back on this third party and the third party is going to pretty much bleed them dry and leave them where they're at. Or they're going to be so dissatisfied with dealing with this third party that they're going to leave and they're not going to find love this lifetime. And even if they do, they're always going to be thinking and wishing that it was you. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Damn. Damn. Twin flame. Ooh, child. I don't even know. Yeah. Juggling. Okay. For that one scenario, your person's still juggling, babe. But for the other two scenarios, your person wants to bring balance. Okay. They want you to trust them again. They want to bring balance back into the connection. You know, they want to be more flexible and open hearted. They want to, you know, financially support you. I'm hearing relieve any financial stress that you have and they want to be a partner to you. OK, they are learning work life balance. Yeah, they don't want to tennis sword you. They don't want to tennis sword you. Hell no. Not these two masculines that I'm picking up on. Now, you got that one masculine that's real arrogant and egotistical and they don't give a damn with the ten of swords. They don't care. As long as they're getting what they want, 
But low key, they're cursed. And this is why you're going to be redirected to a soulmate. Damn. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Mm. Yup. See, those two divine masculines that's what i'm gonna call the two divine masculines that have truly ascended to their divinity baby the ace of pentacles god has given this person the okay that everything gonna be okay okay um the two masculines that were talking flirting or dealing with third parties whether you guys were together or not because they release these third parties and they've worked on themselves, not just to get back with you and give you justice, but to give themselves justice, God is rewarding them with a lot of money because one of, you know, the effects that this person felt by dealing with this karmic was the loss of a lot of money. So it's like God is replenishing them with the money that was lost because they learned the lesson and they made the sacrifice. And they're putting themselves first and they want to give you justice and they want to bring balance. You know what I'm saying? Wow. For the last scenario, if you're still dealing with your twin flame or you reconnected with your twin flame, but they still got third parties, God is giving you this blessing. God is giving you this blessing so you can move on and take care of yourself. If you have children with this person, take care of you and your children. And when you are properly healed, we're going to bring in that unbelievable soulmate is what I heard. Now, this past life soulmate. Damn, they want to speak. Okay, so yeah, damn, you the queen of cups. So this past life soulmate, I'm hearing two things. You are the queen of cups, but it's the queen of cups that is the third party. Remember, it's the queen of cups that's the third party that do not want to let your person go, that is stalking your person and wanting them back badly. For some of them, they have sex and they feel as though they're the best sex they've ever had, which are unhealed masculine, okay? low vibrational masculine. Um, now for others, you are the queen of cups and your higher level soulmate, your unbelievable soulmate that your ancestors and God is bringing towards you, your angels. This person is going to adore you. They're going to absolutely fall in love with you. They're going to love your motherly skills or your fatherly skills. So this could also be a king of cups. Okay. Put yourself where you belong. They're going to adore your empathy and your psychic abilities is what I heard. But they're going to fill up your cup 110%. You understand me? 110%. And you in that soul um, contract between you and your twin flame, over with the death card. It's going to be over, babies. Clarify this um, queen of cups, please. Damn! Y'all! This higher level soulmate, it always confirms will be your new masculine. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. So for that one scenario where your masculine is still dealing with these third party situations, and that is including toxic ass friends and family members too. I'm gonna be real with you. Not just lovers, okay? This person got abandonment issues. They don't wanna let nobody go. And to be honest with you, they don't even hold you on a high pedestal to feel as though you're worth letting these people go. It's time to let this person go, right? That higher level soulmate is already a mother freaking boss. Damn, reassigned masculine looks like. Now, for my two beautiful divine masculines, that is really healing and have let go of third parties, okay? I'm hearing coming up with a master plan to get their baby or to keep their baby. This person is in love with you. They love everything about you. This is your masculine, baby, okay? This is your masculine. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. And this person does not want to self-sabotage with the five of swords. They don't want to sabotage this. Hell no. You everything to them. Those two masculines, you're everything. So please put yourself again in whichever circumstance or situation attunes to you. We have two divine masculines and one masculine that refuses to arise to their divinity Ooh, child i don't even know and when it comes to this karmic though this karmic mm, 
This karmic is also going to be broke, busted, and disgusted. Everything, that's the funny part. Everything is already falling apart in this karmic's life. But this karmic is like, fuck it. I ain't got nothing else to lose. Might as well keep going. Keep going with the magic. Keep going with the manipulation. Okay, they're trying to find when and where your person will be so they can like act like they were there already. Oh, I didn't know you go here. I, oh, how you been? Like, the fuck? Some creepy shit is what I heard. Yup. Some creepy shit. Let, let's see real quick. What's the karma for this? <sighs> Karmic. What is the karma real quick? Yeah. So... Being blocked, the seven of wands. So yes, they're going to be blocked indefinitely because we have, look at this, look at this, the king and the queen of cups. And your emperor is the king of cups. And this, woo, I'm about to say nut ass, lame, karmic. Ooh, your ancestors is ruthless. I think it's my ancestors too, y'all. They are hell bent on having your masculine portray you. I mean, I'm hearing by any means necessary, but your person ain't doing it because they already broke your trust. They already hurt you in some form and fashion in the past. Now, for that one scenario where you're still dealing with your masculine or you reconnected with this masculine thinking that they have arose into their divinity. No, your person is still out here backstabbing you. They still out here doing what they want to do. They still out here basically trying to use you as a doormat and still deal with third parties. So spirit is saying, love yourself and block this motherfucker. It's over. That's it. Stand your ground, boo. Okay. Let's get some messages. But this karmic, even if, you know, they got your person all up in their head and or wrapped around their finger, they think for that one scenario, okay? Your person is going to be, I can't make this shit up. They're going to be so betrayed by this karmic. <laughs> They're going to feel so betrayed and they are not going to be able to come back to you. Mm, that's going to be two double, I'm hearing L's, but like deep entrenched hurt and pain that they're going to have to deal with for the rest of their life. Yep. What they want to say, what do they want to say to you? What do they want to say? All three masculines, please speak up here. All three masculines, what do you want to say? We're not going to take that one. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? We want to take them gonna let it come out what do you want to say and we are definitely going to get some advice okay babies so don't worry what do you want to say all right at the bottom of the deck it says i enjoy being with you so that is those two divine masculines okay they absolutely do they're not lying this karmic don't compare like they're like why the fuck would i even I'm sorry for even dealing with this karmic, okay? Those are the two masculines that have left this karmic in the dust, okay? But one is still lingering in their energy because I'm trying to tell you, they're still doing magic. They're still trying to manifest your person on the moon cycle, the new moons. Jesus Christ. All right. So we have, you don't appreciate me, okay? Jesus, that's that low vibrational karmic uh, twin flame that refuses to arise to their divinity. So they use any excuse to go and deal with a third party. You don't appreciate me every, you know, you're harder on me. I don't know. Like every time, you know, it seems like you're always coming down on me. This person, ooh, fucking lame. Ooh, Jesus. It says we break up to make up. Okay. I feel like those two healthy masculines, they're tired of that shit. But that toxic masculine, they don't care. They love the drama is what I heard. Yep, but those other two masculines, no more drama. They don't want no more drama. I meant what I said. So those two masculines that said that they want to give you justice, they love you. And they are so sorry for even, I mean, considering this third party karmic, they don't measure up. 
not even uh, minuscule to you, okay? So when they come back and tell you the truth, it's the truth. They mean what they say, okay? Because you make them feel loved. I can't make this up. Yeah. I think about you all the time. That's all the masculines, okay? The two good ones and that toxic ass one. I didn't mean what I said, okay? So if they were saying something out of anger, they didn't mean it. They didn't. They were unhealed and in their ego. And they are really feeling shitty about what they said is what I heard. I'm afraid of what you'll think of me, okay? For these masculines, okay? For the two masculines, they were scared to be themselves. So when they come back and be themselves, they're scared that you may not love them, but you will, okay? You will. For that one masculine, baby, you have no clue what this person has been doing behind your back. And I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot. And they're like, damn, once you find this out, I'm afraid what you're going to think of me because you're going to think so poorly of this person. It's not even funny. Um, no time for dis distractions for those two masculines is what I heard. Good things come to those who wait. Okay. So they know that I don't think you've been waiting, but spirit is saying that maybe energetically, maybe you've been waiting for real love and you broke up with this person or you were riding with this person for those two positive masculines, right? You could have been riding with this person, you know, allowing this person to grow and go through certain lessons, or you could have separated from, you know, one of these masculines. Okay. I'm saying one of the situations. So one is a separation and one, you know, is you're already talking to this person. So whether separated or together, Spirit is saying good things come to those who wait. So you've waited in a sense because you still haven't found anyone else since you've broken up with this masculine and you're in separation, this masculine is coming back and it's going to be a good thing. If you have reconciled with this masculine or you've always rocked with this masculine, okay, you'd have been through hell and high waters or, you know, trials and tribulations, your waiting has not been in vain. Your person is going to give you the justice, okay? Now, when it comes to that last masculine, once you dump this past twin flame that you're still dealing with, once you rid them out of your energy as much as possible and move on as much as possible, good thing is that high level soulmate. You feel me? Because you've been waiting too long for this twin flame to get their shit together, to treat you right, to give you, I'm hearing just something as simple as flowers. I will take care of you. That's those two beautiful ascended masculines. The sex is amazing. Didn't I say that though? Because the sex is amazing on your part and on your person's part, right? Because you are a divine feminine and they are divine masculine. This is what hooked this karmic. One of the reasons why this karmic was hooked is what I heard. I'm watching you. Of course, they always are. I am not happy without you. All of them. All of them. Even this arrogant, boastful, belligerent, low vibrational twin flame. Okay, that's still dealing with all types of... Car oh my God, this person is... I'm hearing a disgrace. Godly. This person is a disgrace. And they're realizing that they're not happy without you. All of these other connections are empty. You deserve better. All of them feel that way. Depending on your circumstances, situation, they all feel that way though. Those two masculines and that arrogant masculine. The arrogant masculine is not going to tell you, but the two ascended, emotionally intelligent now masculines will tell you this. You're special. You're everything. Okay? Now, if you want to get back with those two masculines, remember, if you're in separation, that's a good masculine coming back to you. Ascended, right? If you already reconciled, or are you stuck with this masculine? Okay. They've let go of the third party, but the third party's energy is just lingering. So y'all just got to keep doing, you know, cord cutting, cleansing. You know, your person is into that. Okay. Mention it. They're going to do it is what I heard. Um, your person don't want nobody but you. But then that last masculine that chooses not to arise to their divinity or ascend. Okay. That person 
it's just time to go. Okay? It's just time to go. Period. So, that one is time to go. Those other two is your choice. Okay? But Spirit is saying, you know, you're going to have a great outcome with the Ascended Divine Masculines. And then for those that are leaving their original Divine Masculine, you will be reassigned a newer Divine Masculine. And you're going to be happy with this person. Oh, yes. So, for those that are in separation or dealing with their divine counterpart and they don't know whether they should go or stay. Can you give me an advice, Spirit? Just one for my duties. Just one. So we have will in reverse, okay? <laughs> Spirit! <laughs> I'm sorry, I am dying. Spirit say you won't got no choice or, or this person's not going to give you a choice because they're not going to stop chasing you, wanting you, begging for you back. And they will be single until they get you. That's why I'm dying. This flipped in reverse. In the upright, this is free will. Either spirit is saying you won't got no free will. This is your destined partner, especially because they did the work. We want you with this person. Or it's your person saying that they are not going to give up on you until you take them back or they don't want you to go. They don't want you to go. They'll do anything. Yep. And they are willing with creativity. Mm. Now, when it comes to a soulmate that you will be reassigned with, what is going on with that person? You will have a choice. You will have a choice. What I'm hearing is this arrogant um, original masculine is going to try to come back and get you. But then you're going to have a higher level soulmate that has already come in. And you will have the choice. Once you choose this higher level soulmate, I'm hearing ties will be severed with this old twin flame. And it will be reconnected with this new twin flame. Wow. Y'all. And that's the insight, baby. You feel me? That's the insight. I'm giving y'all the tea right now. You feel me? So Spirit is saying for those two ascended masculines, no, we want you with them. Okay? <coughs> Ooh. I need some water. But we want you with them. It's what they're saying, okay? But I'm also saying your person is going to get choked up when they tell you this truth about their love for you, about how they fucked up, how they want to make it better. They're going to be choked up because I'm choked up like a mother right now. But Spirit is also saying that this person doesn't want to let you go. At all, okay? But it's, it's, it's your choice. It's always your choice, baby. But when it comes to that arrogant masculine, they're going to get the insight that you want to choose somebody else. And it's going to hurt them. Yep. In not a good way is what I heard. But this is the reading, babies. I'm not going to pull initials today, okay? Don't worry about a third party that is still in your person's energy. And once you find out that, you know, your twin flame that you either reconnect it with, oh, this person don't want me to talk, reconnect it with, or you have basically rolled it out with, there's still a fuck boy or fuck girl. There's still a manipulator. Like it's time to let them go, baby. It is. So God can bless you with something better. Okay. And then they got this third party or these third parties in their ego thinking that they can just get your person because your person don't got no respect for you. So they are making you look stupid in a sense and embarrassing you because you're defending this person. You know, you know, you could be posting this person on social media. Little do you know, this person is pillow talking with third parties. I don't understand, you know, like I, I say this and I say it and I mean it, right? 
if you are not happy with someone, if you don't want that person and you're fantasizing and you really want someone else, then be with who you want to be with. Why do people manipulate, lie, string along, and infringe on people's free will when they're going to get karma for it? If your person didn't want to be with you, it is simply as simple as fuck to sit you down and tell you, I don't want to be with you, you know, whatever the conversation would be or however it would go, and then move on to a third party, even if that shit don't work. Your person is allowing you the freedom to go explore someone that actually wants you. But see, these people are selfish. I'm hearing selfish sinners. And they don't want to lose a great thing. They want to keep the great thing on the back burner while they deal with the basic insignificant thing, person, place. People cause their own demise, cause their own heartbreaks when it's just fucking simple. If you don't want that person, if you're not feeling that person anymore, let them go. The fuck? If a person don't want to be in a third party situation or a side chick or a side man, let them go. Don't be revengeful. Don't get all in your psychotic feelings about it. Accept it. Everybody gets rejected. Everybody don't like everybody. And just because you are beautiful or non-beautiful, everybody's not going to think that about you. It is what it is. But when someone doesn't want to be with someone else, let them know so both parties can move the fuck on. I am so tired of seeing this shit in these readings. It is simple. You got people who be married for 20 years, miserable, fantasizing about somebody else that they really are in love with. What is so hard to divorce that person, set up whatever you need to set up if y'all got kids, split the assets, get a prenup before the god darn marriage, and move on to the people that y'all want to be with, really? No, y'all suffer in a 20-year relationship, 5-year relationship, 10-year relationship. And you're not even in love. Then this is not talking to you, collective. This is talking to the cross watchers that be watching this. And that be fucking playing in y'all energy, knowing that they not ready for commitment. Knowing damn well that they got a lot of healing to do, but they don't want to lose you. So they drag you along their shitty ass journey. And a lot of you guys don't realize it until like later on, but the damage is done. And this is why I say, do not be hard on yourself if you didn't see these motherfuckers for the manipulators that they are in the beginning. But when you find out it is your duty to do something about it so you will not be manipulated or heartbroken again. I don't get that. Even coaching people. It's like, well, you don't like each other. You're not in love anymore. Why are you with each other? Give space then. See if you want someone else. Don't hold people captive. Don't get people pregnant. Because you don't want them with the next person. Because you want to make sure you got some type of tie to that person. It is lame, pathetic, and psychotic. And I see it way too often. And then men and women are left broken and damaged. And I am sick of the red pill bullshit on YouTube as well. I am ranting. Rock with me, okay? I saw a video and it was about this guy explaining like, oh, why do women choose this and choose that? And let me be fucking frank and clear here. It's not a soul on this planet that is not perfect. No one is. 
Everyone's imperfect. Not a soul on this planet that's perfect. This guy was actually saying that women shouldn't have chosen what they've chosen and did what they did and whoop de wop. That is the course of life. If you didn't make that decision, how would you know not to make that decision again? If you don't got the good, how the fuck would you know what was bad? If you didn't get the bad, how would you know what was good? You need these wake up calls in life. They're lessons. It's like these delusional podcasters sit up here and say, oh, you should have made better choices. But that wasn't a part of your journey to make better choices. It was a part of your journey to make these specific choices so it can help you grow, understand, define what you want, who you want, who you are, and where you want to be, where you want to go, so forth and so on. I am tired of people ridiculing people for possibly wrong decisions. And it is what it is, but it's what you learn from those wrong decisions and the outcome and doing it better the next time. But it's like, oh no, you did this, you did that. You had two kids, you had one kid. And half of a lot of these men and women have multiple fucking kids, especially men. And I love my men, but I am so fucking tired of seeing content about red pill, low vibrational, karmic ass men. That's why freaking frat, fit and fresh got canceled. It is so many celebrities that go on these podcasts and think that these podcasters are fucking idiots because they are and it is crucial who you listen to the reason why I guess is the reason why I'm saying all this be careful who you listen to who you getting advice from if they're not married happily if they're not successful why y'all listening to these people makes me upset because it's like if you don't make the mistakes in life how are you gonna learn that's the only way to learn lord have mercy y'all so collectives i say all that by saying this do not listen to everything you hear one do not beat yourself up if you've given this person multiple chances or you fell so deep in love that you just couldn't see that this person was a piece of shit. It's okay. It's your lesson. And it don't matter how long it took you as long as you finally got it. Because God will always have someone for you. Don't believe this bullshit out here. They don't incorporate spirituality. They don't incorporate God. They incorporate their perspectives, their opinions, and statistics. When God holds the final say. So. The two masculines that are ascended. It will be good. It will go great. But it's your choice. But that one masculine that's not. Leave that person alone. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm here to tell you. It's okay. Because you've taken this person back. You keep thinking about this person. You even could still love this person. It's okay. Take the time you need to move on so God can give you better, baby. All right? I love you guys to life. Until next time, okay? Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you know when your girl posting. Be great, babies. And don't let anyone try to make you feel bad. Fuck out of here. I love you to life, babies. Bye.